Today is an exciting day. The Affinity Photo team has just released version 1.9. There are so many great updates to this version, but some of the updates are a little more exciting than others. So in this video, I'm going to show you my seven favorite updates to Affinity Photo. Let's get started. The first update is a simple one, but very appreciated. We finally have text on a path. Just make a shape and then get out the text tool. Then hover your cursor on the edge of the shape until you get this squiggly icon. Then click on the shape and begin typing. If you want to change where the text begins, you can move this green triangle. And if you want your text facing the other direction, just rotate the circle. Another fun update is the ability to make patterns. All you need is an image that you want to duplicate, and then come up to Layer, New Pattern Layer from Selection, and just like that, we have a lovely pattern. And if you want, you can use the Move tool to resize and position the pattern. In a few weeks, I'm going to make a video all about patterns, so be sure to subscribe if you want to learn more. Another great new feature is astrophotography stacking which allows you to combine multiple photos of outer space into one beautiful image. This feature is really powerful for people that are into space photography, but honestly, this topic isn't one of my strong suits, so instead of trying to explain something that I don't understand, I'm going to leave a link in the video description to some other great tutorials on this subject. If you're someone that's into astrophotography, I highly recommend that you check out this feature. Another great feature they've added is Studio Presets, which lets you save different layouts for all of the panels in your studio. First, arrange your panels however you want. You can even delete panels that you don't want or place them somewhere else on the screen. And of course, you can come to the View menu to add more panels. Once you have your studio looking the way you want, you can turn it into a preset. To do this, come to View, Studio Presets, Add Preset. Then give your preset a name. Now to see how presets work, let's say later in the day you've changed your studio as you've been working in Affinity, but you want to set it back to the way it was. In that case, all you need to do is come back to your studio presets and click on the preset you made earlier. And just like that, our studio is back to the way we had it before. And of course, you can make multiple presets. So you could have a preset for when you're retouching photos, another preset for digital painting, and another preset for graphic design. Presets are a really great addition, so I'm going to make a full video on them in a couple of weeks. Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. The next new feature is Live Liquify Layers. Up until now, anything you did in the Liquify persona was permanent. So if you made a mistake, there was no way to undo it. But now you can Liquify as a Live Filter. With this addition, you can make all the changes you want while in the Liquify persona. And then when you're done, all of your changes will be applied as a live filter. This means you can turn your changes on and off, or go back and edit them anytime you want. 
Up next, we have linked layers. Linking layers allows two or more layers to be connected to each other, kind of like a brother and sister. To link a layer, come to Layer, Duplicate Linked. Now, if you look in the Layers panel, you can see that our two star layers have a little icon to show that they're linked. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to make one more linked star, and then move the duplicate stars so that we can see all three of them. So now we have three linked layers, but in what ways are they linked? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> To see how these layers are linked, we first need to open the brand new Links panel. Using this panel, we can see exactly how these layers are linked. As an example, we can see that their fill parameters are linked. To see this in action, let's change the fill color of a star. As you can see, as I change the fill color of one star, the other stars also change colors because they're linked. As another example, these stars also have their vector shape parameters linked. So if I change the number of sides of one of these stars, then the other stars will also change. Really, the only thing with these stars that isn't linked is their size and position. Using the Move tool, you can still move and resize each one independent of the other stars. But if you want a layer to be less connected to the others, you can press on any of these buttons to unlink that attribute, or you can press the button at the top to completely unlink the layer. As an example, let's unlink the fill color of this star. Now when I change its color, you can see that the other stars stay the same. But if I select one of the other stars and change its color, then you can see that the other linked star has its color changed as well. But since I only unlinked the fill color, I could still change the number of sides on any of these stars and it will change all of the other stars as well. Using linked layers, you can link together shapes, masks, pixel layers, filters, or adjustment layers. I'm still playing around with this feature, but I'm excited to see what new possibilities people come up with. And finally, the last major update to Affinity Photo is the ability to sync the purchases you've made on the Affinity website. This means if you go to the Affinity Store and purchase any brushes or assets, then these purchases will be immediately available to all of the Affinity apps you own. And as a fun bonus, Serif is giving away some free assets to kick off this new feature. To access this content in Affinity, you first need to log in to your Affinity account. To do so, come up to the very top right and press on this little icon. From here, you'll need to log in to your Affinity account or make one if you don't already have an account. After logging in, your screen will look something like this. I'm going to download the assets that Serif is giving away for free to show you how they work. After the assets are done downloading, you'll need to open the Assets panel to access them. From this panel, you can click and drag to bring any of these assets into the file you're working on. I think this is already a cool feature, but the Affinity team has said that this is just the beginning, and they're going to build on this feature to make the Affinity apps work together even better in the future. I love having an Affinity ecosystem, and I'm excited to see what they come up with next. I love this new update to Affinity Photo, 
But if you're new to Affinity and you want an easy way to get started with it, then you can check out my free course in the video description. This course gives you 10 simple steps to make any of your photos look amazing, and I think it's a great way to jumpstart your Affinity Photo skills. Well, thanks for watching my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.